Hi guys, since launching the back waller, we've consistently been asked if the unit could be wall mounted for ease of use. So when I designed the muscle baller, it's a feature I incorporated by virtue of the four holes here and the mounting kit we supply, which includes four masonry bowls, the six mil masonry bit and 10 mil hex drive. We want the unit to be positioned so it sits just beneath our shoulder blades. And the best way to transfer that to the wall is to actually set the unit against the bottom of your sternum and using a level and pencil we'll transfer that position onto the wall and fix it up. Line that up and boom. We'll just leave that one a tiny bit loose while we put in the next tree. The unit is very robust. See now just how solid that is to the wall, of course masonry wall or if you're going into a stud partition ensure you're going into the stud because when you put all your weight through this it will take some force. It doesn't necessarily have to be mounted indoors, you can mount it outside, externally, in a garage, anywhere you can get to use it you'll be glad it's there because especially for anyone with any sort of shoulder tightness, consistent use on this and you just wipe that out. The first thing obviously guys is through your shoulders at the back, through the traps. So just nice and easy, down through it like so. Bend your knees, come up through it, lean into it. So you are getting as much force through the traps as you can. And nice and easy, up through that. Even five or six times will give you a tremendous release. From there then, come out to the side and get right into the lats. Just again, just right under the shoulder there like that. And whilst you're here, drop your head onto your bicep and push it, push it through it to your tricep. So you're releasing all this area here. And finally then guys as well, if you do have shoulder tightness, which is very common, get your pectoral into it like that and just drive it into it again and again. It's as much about active release as it is rolling. So you're just pressing into it and getting some movement through the shoulder as you're driving it in there into the pectoral. Okay, as I say, some consistent use on that. Any tightness up around here, you'll wipe it out. Another fabulous use of it, guys, is to release the flexors through your forearm. So to do that, just position them on it and using your other arm then just push into it as much as you can like so and again perhaps a bit of active release where you're just flexing your wrist over and back as you come up through it and just work through the flexors and release all release right down through the arm any tightness any tension anything that's knotted up there just just release it green obviously have the ridges for digging in that bit deeper and if you fear that might be too severe, perhaps kick off with the pink smooth version, which isn't quite as aggressive, but uh, both, both do the same thing once, uh, once you get on them and use them. So to change them guys, simply pop your clip back there like that, and just put in one side at a time. There we have the pink version on the wall. And um, it's an offer we're going to do actually guys because a lot of people they, they'll probably want the unit on the wall and they'll also want one for the floor or the gear bag so why not have one pink one green the units are interchangeable you have one on the wall fixed you know where it is always and bring that one with you everywhere so you have the muscle baller with you wherever you wherever you go and on the wall when you come home to get in and release them shoulders. In terms of the money, I'm sure you're aware the muscle ballers they come in at 30 euros each and the fixing kit comes in at 7 euros. Now if you purchase the two together, perhaps one for the wall, one for the gear bag, we're doing the fixing kit FOC free of charge and you'll get free shipping as well then on that because your auto spend will be over 50 euros. So not a bad option at all.